I bear lots of animosity to bellhops. They never bring my luggage up on time. And taxi drivers really tax my patience. If they vanished, would it really be a crime? Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Oliver. And I'm Hannah. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. Please rise for a moment's silence and a pledge to the flag. Sophomores and juniors interested in helping class of 2027 have a smoother transition to EHS next year, the Link Crew program is looking for you. Link Crew leaders are upperclassmen who are solid role models for incoming 9th grade students. We are responsible for 10th and 11th We are looking for responsible 10th and 11th graders with good communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned that have allowed them to be successful at EHS. You could have a tremendous impact on our new students and will learn many valuable leadership skills in the process. Link leaders are trained and to work with and help incoming freshman class transition to high school. If this sounds interesting to you, fill out an application right away, available on Schoology. Applications are due by Thursday, March 23rd at 3 p.m. If you aren't sure and would like to know more, please see Mrs. Mandel, Mrs. Calhoun, or Mr. Habowski for more details and information. This announcement is for any student who is interested in learning about the U.S. Service Academies. You are invited to attend Service Academy Night, which will be hosted by Congressman Lloyd Smucker on Friday, March 31st, 2023 at Penn Manor High School from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Academy Night will include information about the difference between attending an academy and ROTC, the value of attending a summer program at an academy, the ideal candidate for an academy, determining the difference between a nomination and an appointment. You'll also be able to check out options available through the U.S. Service Academies, West Point, Naval, Air Force, Merchant Marine, and Coast Guard, and ROTC programs. Each of the service academies offers an incredible free college education worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. For more details, check your Schoology class of group. It is especially important to start this process early. Freshmen and sophomores should attend if they have any interest in one of these post-secondary options. Now over to Gabby with the news. Breaking news! Uh, Phil just saw his shadow. We'll have six more weeks of winter! <laughs> Yesterday, freshmen Sophia Berkey, River Klein, Augusta Good, and Nathan Potts went to the Lancashire Country Farm and Home Center to complete, compete in this country FFA Creed Speaking Contest. They had to memorize and present the five paragraph creed and answer questions from the judges. Sweeping the podium and moving on to the regional level competition in April are, drum roll please. In third place, River Klein. In second place, Nathan Potts. And in first place, Sophia Berkey. If you see <laughs> if you see any of these students in the hall today, please be sure to congratulate them on these compliments. Now back to the main desk. If you are interested in the arts, music, video, industry, engineering, manufacturing, finance, or marketing, Rock Lidditz has the most awesome event for you. Plan to attend this hands-on exploration activity where technology meets art at this live event industry day on April 27th. Rock Lidditz is a one-of-a-kind production community that supports innovative creativity within the live event industry with resources ranging from design, engineering, and manufacturing through rehearsals and beyond. Rock Lidditz is a one-stop shop to collaborate on any live event experience. This is a great activity to help you decide if any of the careers that support live events are for you. Be sure to check out the link in Schoology and complete the online survey link ASAP if you are interested. This week is National School Breakfast Week. Tomorrow, featured egg yogi waffle topped with peanut butter or yogurt and bananas, bacon, egg, cheese, roll, 100% juice, fruit, or milk. 
Now it's time for lunch. Hello everyone, today is March 8th, and today for lunch we have a Mountaineer Popcorn Chicken Bowl. We have three cheese or ham croissant. We have a turkey BOT flatbread. We have a fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. And we have a salad made out of tacos. Nice grub! Last night in our own backyard, effort is own. Barbara Price, the current number one seed in women's ping pong, took on the slightly lower seeded but wily teacher Mr. Marzog on an unorthodox playing surface for a three game series with winner takes all ramifications. Who would be the new champion here at Ephrata? Well, raging out to a strong lead, Mr. Marzog battled back to take a commanding lead to earn a first game victory of 11 to 8. However, he never looked back after that moment, and with a crushing 11-4 win and series victory, taking the title from Barbara. No rematch has been scheduled, but Effort AM will keep you posted. Also, on Wednesday, March 8th, that's tonight, come out to the student-faculty basketball game at 6 p.m. at the EIMS gym. Some of your favorite teachers will be playing in the game. Mrs. Dietz, Mrs. Calhoun, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Becker, Mr. Geyer, Senior Cerullo, Mr. Horst, Mr. O'Donnell, and Mrs. Youngle will all be trying to beat the senior basketball players. Boeingers will be providing all of our food, drinks, and ice cream for the night. Admittance is by donation. Come one, come all, and cheer on the student and the faculty. We want to add to our minithon total from Saturday night. For the kids, now back to the main desk. Students will go to period. One, for ACT today. Have a great day, Ephrata!